Is it possible to send data to Google Analytics old properties, Universal Analytics, and to Google Analytics GA4, the new type of properties? The answer is yes. And uh, I will show you how you can do this. Um, first of all, it's possible to connect the old analytics property to the new Google Analytics GA4. But what I noticed uh, is that sometimes, most of the time, um, Google Analytics doesn't get e-commerce specific events from the old universal analytic property to the new GA4. So uh, what I recommend and what I noticed that works really well is to install both Google Analytics um, Universal and the new J4 on your website and with Pixar your site and uh, an add-on that we call, we call the super pack it's possible let me show you how it works first of all you need to have Pixar your site professional and the super pack installed the super pack um, works with Pixar your site professional and adds a few extra features including the um, possibility to add multiple tags for um, pixel for facebook pixel for google analytics and for google ads in this video we will use the google analytics uh, extra tag feature to add uh, a new ga4 property on a website that already has the old universal analytics and uh, once you have the super pack installed you have this option right here to add an extra analytics property uh, on this website, I have the old type of um, analytics installed and um, Pixlr site automatically identifies the format and sends the events in the right, uh, with the right structure because um, you have to remember there is a difference between events uh, sent to old properties and events sent to GA4. The format is different. Um, universal Properties have a very strict format with a category, uh, action, label, and sometimes value. Only this can be sent. Um, GA4 has a much more uh, flexible format with event, event's name, and uh, parameters. So GA4 works more like the Facebook pixel uh, and not like the old um, universal uh, structure for events. Um, and Pixel your site automatically understands what properties, what, what type of properties you have, and send the, event, send the events accordingly. So in this case, I have a universal um, analytics, so the old format. So for this property, the events will have the old format, uh, the old structure. If I add a new um, analytics property, and if, it's the, if this is a GA4, the events will have the new format. So what I need to do is to get my uh, new GA4 uh, ID. It's very easy. Go inside your uh, analytics account. Go here, admin, assistant setup, tag installation. Um, click and copy this um, ID. Just click here and copy. Go inside the plugin and um, add the ID in this field and go scroll down and save. Now, uh, with this setup, I have um, both properties installed and they will both start to get events, including um, e commerce specific events if I use WooCommerce or a plugin called Easy Digital Download. So, uh, monetization data, how it's called in GA4, will uh, work. Uh, out of the box automatically you don't need to do anything um, another thing i want to show you is related to events if you want to fire your own events for google analytics you can do so from here uh, you can configure your trigger and everything and enable for analytics you will uh, have um, a selector for the property that will receive that event. If it's the old um, universal analytic type, um, we have the old structure, as I said, action, category, label, and value. If it's the new one, we have uh, a more flexible structure. For example, it depends. There are a lot of 
um, standard events with their own structure you can add uh, extra parameters easily so it works like that uh, you don't need to add events if you use WooCommerce because we fire them automatically but if you for some reason have um, this need you want to configure your own extra events for Google Analytics you can do it like this uh, and the plugin will fire them in the correct format for the property that you select here so uh, it's very easy now uh, this uh, option to have multiple tags comes as part of the super pack as I said the super pack uh, it's an extra add-on that you get when you have Pixel Say Professional Advance or agency licenses or any bundle deal if you don't have the super pack with your license you can upgrade the license that you have to one of the licenses that have access to the super pack make sure you have Pixel Say Professional installed as well and make sure you have uh, the super pack installed and you will be able to add extra Google Analytics properties um, that's it thank you for watching this video uh, don't forget to like and to subscribe it will really help our channel grow a bit